Yes, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, can you see the screen? We are going to study yes, units sir. for measuring diameter. Okay, so this is a very small topic we are going to study today. today. And uh, here uh, we know about there are some units of enzyme uh, which, uh, uh, which uh, we can uh, use unit to measure uh, when we do the enzyme test, okay? So in the enzyme test, the values should be written in a particular unit, okay? So that unit we are going to study today. Uh, measuring enzyme activity, uh, here the topic, uh, we should know that what is the unit of enzyme activity? Okay? So here, uh, enzymes are actually never expressed uh, in terms of their concentration as milligram or microgram okay you have to understand like we we, we uh, express glucose in milligram per deal we express hemoglobin in gram per deal we express rbc count in uh, million per cubic mm we express uh, tlc count in um, thousand per uh, cubic microliter so this is what the you know the unit are uh, given for different different uh, compound but here for enzymes uh, here, uh, enzymes are never expressed in the terms of uh, their concentration as milligram or microgram. Okay, here enzymes are expressed only as activities, right? So enzyme uh, units are uh, they are expressed as a uh, activities, not in the form of milligram or microgram. Uh, in fact, these uh, activities have been expressed in many ways, like like the like already we said that the enzymes unit are that express as activities and this activities can be expressed in many different ways and what are those different ways are like king armstrong units somogai units ritman frankel units or spectrophotometric units or uh, there are some other units are like international units are there so in such a way we can uh, you know uh, define the unit of the enzyme Okay, and uh, the catalytic action of an enzyme is measured by determining the increase in the reaction rate under precisely defined conditions. What do we need to understand here? That enzyme usually catalyzes a biochemical reaction, a chemical reaction. Okay, and uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the catalytic action of enzyme we can uh, measure uh, by just determining the increase in the reaction rate okay under precisely defined condition the condition should be precisely defined uh, like uh, optimum temperature optimum ph optimum ionic concentration so under precisely defined condition you need to know that uh, what is the enzyme being catalyzing the reaction and if you measure that reaction rate so uh, uh, that in increase in the reaction rate if you are be able to measure then we can define the enzyme activity actually okay so here uh, enzyme unit uh, is enzyme activity not milligram or microgram and this uh, enzyme activity can be uh, you know written as a different different uh, way we have uh, available in the textbooks or in the uh, you know the enzyme enzymology uh, let's know what is enzyme activity here enzyme activity uh, just means that this amount of substrate converted to product per unit time this is called as enzyme activity okay so uh, as you know that enzyme is only eight ton substrate and what happens it convert the substrate into the product okay and if you are able to measure this conversion of substrate into product per unit time means per minute and that uh, that is uh, defined as enzyme activity okay so in one minute how many substrate how much uh, substrate uh, would be converted to a product uh, so that if you are be able to measure these things then we consider it as enzyme activity right uh, the rate of appearance of product like when there is a chemical biochemical reaction when there is an enzymatic reaction so the appearance of product if you are able to measure the rate that at what rate the product is being made from the substrate or, or or the rate of disappearance of substrate like when the substrate is converted to product 
at the same time the substrate disappear and the product will appear so the if you are able to measure the both uh, rate the rate of appearance of product or the rate of disappearance of substrate is, uh, then we will be able to measure the enzyme activity okay we can understand that how uh, we can measure the enzyme activity uh, we can take the you know uh, absorbance of the test okay at the end of the chemical reaction we can take the absorbance of test uh, using the spectrophotometer which will give the you know net change in the optical uh, intensity of the you know solution where the chemical reaction takes place right now uh, here uh, we are going to know a very a specific enzyme unit that is called as a cattle okay we can define cattle here uh, as in order to maintain uniformity in the expression of enzyme activity as units worldwide the enzyme commission of international union of biochemistry has suggested a new unit namely cattle abbreviated as kat so here uh, to make it uniform unit okay uniform should be uh, uh, you should we should understand that the unit should be uniform worldwide okay if we, if you are using an enzyme unit in india so that the same unit should be uh, considered in the other country or throughout the uh, world so okay so the enzyme unit should be uniform enzyme ka jo unit hota hai wo uniform hona chahiye uh, different different nahi hona chahiye otherwise kya hoga uh, we cannot do the proper research we cannot do the proper measurement so it should be uh, maintained uniform throughout the world and because of that now enzyme commission was made held okay enzyme commission was held uh, uh, through international union of biochemistry yahan pe enzyme commission kya hota hai enzyme pe ek uh, study uh, baitak hua enzyme pe ek discussion hua enzyme pe ek conference hua usme uh, wo jo international union of biochemistry ne ye cheez kiya aur they suggested that the uh, a unit a new unit uh, namely cattle okay they suggested this cattle as a new unit for for enzyme activity okay and they uh, abbreviated the cattle as a kat uh, one cat denotes the conversion of one mole substrate per second so we have to understand that what is the meaning of one cat okay one cattle ka matlab kya hota hai if uh, if there is a the conversion of one mole substrate per second then we can say it's a one cattle तो एक सेकेंड में वन मोल सबस्टेट को प्रोडक्ट में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं तो उसको हम उस अमाउंट ऑफ सबस्टेट अमाउंट ऑफ एंजाइम को हम बोलेंगे कैटल ठीक है मतलब दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एंजाइम दैट कन्वर्ट वन मोल ऑफ सबस्टेट इनटू प्रोडक्ट विद इन अ सेकेंड सो वी कैन नाउ डिफाइन इट एज अन कैटल ओके अंडरस्टूड हाउ यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग की वन कैटल क्या होता है वन कैटल होता है कि एक एक जो अमाउंट ऑफ जो एंजाइम इतना एंजाइम चाहिए जो कि वन मोल सब्सिट पर सेकेंड में उसको ठीक है इंटरनेशनल वर्कर prefers to use standard units or si unit or system international or international unit uh, as a enzyme activity okay so this is the unit the most uh, uh, we here in india also we also uh, we use uh, the unit of enzyme as a iu okay iu per liter international unit okay uh, but um, throughout most of the you know uh, in the scientific community they use cattle also right uh, what is si unit or what is international unit so here one si unit or international unit is defined as the amount of enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of 
one micromole of substrate per minute. So this is the difference you can understand. Uh, in cattle, we studied that one uh, cattle is what the amount of enzyme that catalyze that convert one micromole substrate per second. But here, you should understand that that in one in traditional unit is uh, is uh, defined as uh, the conversion of uh, one micromole of substrate per minute. Okay, so the enzyme amount of enzyme required to convert one micromole substrate per minute is known as uh, one, uh, one international unit. Okay, uh, here uh, SI unit and cattle are also interconvertible. So we can convert cattle to SI unit or SI unit to cattle by this, uh, uh, you know, uh, equation. One international unit equal to 60 micro cattle, whereas one nano cattle is also equal to 1.67 international unit. So here we have studied the uh, units for measuring the enzyme activity. Uh, now coming to the discussion, if, if there is any question, please ask me. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, have a uh, discussion now.